What's up everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. What I've got for you is a quick how-to video um, to set up an Anycubic Cobra in Cura. Um, so currently there is not a Cura profile or a Cura printer option for the Anycubic Cobra. So today I'm going to walk you really quickly through how to set one up. Okay, to get started, we want to go up to settings, printer, I've already made one, so we're going to make a new one. Um, we want to add printer. All right, we want to add a non-network printer. And then we want to scroll down, not very far, until we see any cubic. And then we want to pick the any cubic Viper. Okay, we are going to add that. And it made it Viper number three for me, but we want to make sure we're selected the one that we just added. And we want to click manage printers. And then we want to, well, we can rename it. I'm going to name this one. Cobra YouTube. Okay. And then we want to go into our machine settings and the uh, Viper has different size beds. Um, so for this one, we want to do 220 by 220 by 250. Um, this part can stay the same and pretty much everything else can stay the same. Um, now in a second, we're going to come back and we're going to change out this G code because when I tried this, on the Cobra, when I tried the Viper settings on the Cobra, um, they didn't work very well. It would give me a blob, like a blob right in the middle of where my print was going to be. Like it didn't recognize that that was there. So the uh, start code needs to change and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So uh, we want to close this and then we want to settings printer. We want to add another printer a non-network printer. We want to scroll down until we see Creality. So we are actually going to add the Ender 3, not the Pro. We're going to add the normal Ender 3. We're going to add it. Okay. And all we want to do, we'll just say next. That's fine. We're going to go into Manage Printers, make sure it's the Ender 3, Machine Settings, and then you're going to grab this G code. Control C. Copy, close. Okay, make sure you go to your Cobra. For me, it's the Cobra YouTube, manage printers. And then once you've got that selected, machine settings. And delete all of that. Input our new code and this should be fine. can see that it just made a line across the side. Um, it didn't make the big blob in the center like uh, the Viper one did, so I would say that the Ender 3 start code works pretty well. All right, once you've got that, you'll want to go through and change your actual Cura settings to whatever you would need them for your specific printer. The main setting that I've been playing around with the most is printing speed. You can see here I have it set to 70 and then adjust everything else for me. Of course, you want the initial layer speed to, a bit, to be a bit slower so that you can get a good adhesion to your bed. Um, the only thing that I changed in my settings was the travel speed. I think it was set to 120 originally and I set it to 100 because 120 was a bit too loud. Um, so I lowered it a little. I'm okay losing that uh, time to save a little bit of sound. If you don't see all of these settings in your Cura, um, you can click this little icon here and then make sure that you get all of these selected. <clears throat> Compared to my Viper, I usually print at 50 millimeters for, per second on that machine. Um, for the things that I've been printing, this has worked pretty well. The website, if we go over there, claims that this is a super fast printer, you maximum speed of 180 millimeters per second. I'm sure it does print that fast, but I've not yet tested that out. Um, 70 has been working well for me in the things that I've been printing. Maybe I'll experiment and try to print a little bit faster and see what happens. Um, if I do, I'll make a video and I'll let you guys know. Yeah, and so the rest of this is just um, settings for the individual things that I was printing at the time. Um, but generally, point two, you want a thicker layer height. Um, I like to optimize my wall printing order. I keep it clicked. Sometimes I unclick it to see if it changes anything. Most of the time it doesn't. Um, 
I like my Z-seam alignment to be random. The other option is sharpest corner. Um, sharpest corner would just kind of sometimes leave a line in your prints and random seems to work better for me. 20%, but this changes depending on what you're printing. Grid usually, sometimes I've heard about gyroid being pretty good, but haven't played with it that much. Otherwise, if I'm printing something that needs a thicker infill, sometimes I'll use lines because grid can get a little bit much on my the smaller prints that I've been doing. The rest of this changes depending on the filament. Um, I've been playing around with this setting, the combing mode. I keep it not in skin because I print a lot of things on the first layer that have a lot of squiggles, you know, like I print names specifically. So um, I put combing mode, not in skin. You can see if you hover over it that these are the things that it does. Um, I like to not go over the things that I've already printed because it likes to rip it off the bed sometimes. Um, this has been working pretty well for me. You can try it out if you would like. Um, but I don't know if it's necessary for every print because sometimes you're not printing elaborate things that need to stick specifically to the bed. That's all for this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any ideas for future videos that you would like to see, maybe you'd like more Cura videos or Cobra, Viper, whatever, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd love to give you guys the content that you need. Uh, but that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.